Welcome to PC Building Simulator 2. I played the first one for a few hours. I've been on and off building PCs for years. I don't know the ins and outs fully, but I've, I understand the basics of putting together a PC. However, in this one, from gameplay that I saw, you can build your own PCs to put on a storefront and actually sell in the career. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I know we start off incredibly basic, and I believe there's new features and stuff to this one. And I actually bought this around the time it launched. So I just never got around to playing it. So let's jump into our very own PC building simulator career. So here we go. Welcome to the game. It's a new day in a new shop. It might not look like much, but it's all you have since the old one mysteriously burned down. Read the note from Uncle Tim to find out more. I love it, but hate it at the same time. How a lot of simulators nowadays are all based around an uncle. We had Gas Station Simulator, our uncle come along and robbed five grand off us. And I've played lots and lots in the past where we've just had uncle after uncle. Sorry I wasn't there to take the edge off the shock, a crazy idea, blah blah blah. I had this old place as a standby, I managed to rescue the PCs. And we can exit with the button at the top left. Get it fixed up, might need a new GPU. Okay. So walk over to the delivery boxes that are waiting for you at the back of the workshop and left click to pick them up. Oh, this is really, really slow walking. But we've got some PC parts, fragile. Starting off with an RTX 3080. I've got a 2070 Super in my PC, so this is already way better than my actual real life PC. But okay, we'll take it. Uh, yeah, let's not ask Uncle how he managed to get hold of them. Probably something dodgy. Uh, it should be somewhere in the corridor. We need to get the PC that he sent. Which is over here in this box, I'm guessing. Oh, right click to pick it up. My bad. I was trying to left click it. So, let's bring it over here. Uh, left click to place it. Left click to put it into build mode. Okay, so remove the side panel. We've got to take the screws out. So here we go. Top left, bottom left. Oh, I didn't even finish that one. Okay, so I was missing a graphics card. Thankfully, we got a very good one delivered. So, remove the PCI lock. And then after the PCI lock, we take the case part off. The PCI cover. And it takes up two slots. There we go. So, install button to access the inventory. And then the graphics cards. Left click to select it. And, wait, can we... Yeah, we can zoom in. How do we have a look around? Oh, I want to be able to... Oh, there we go. It's WASD. Okay, so we can actually see what we're doing. Look at that for an absolute beast. Press the install button. Select the PCI lock. Okay, so we've got to put the components back on. Screw all that stuff in. Make sure that's in there nice and tight. You don't want that falling out. So the cable connector... Uh, we've got to connect it to the power supply. There we go. So that should all be powered up. So now we've got to get the side panel back out. And if we zoom out a little bit, we're going to install this again. And that should be the 3080 installed and ready to go. So the final screw. So now we exit because we've put the part in. Carry it to the workstation to your left and place it under the desk. Wait, is this, this is our PC? That's what we're going to... Wait. P to switch it on. So we've got a boot screen. Click on the monitor. Oh, no, it's got, it's got my actual real-life desktop background. Uh, open the email app. I don't like double-click. I have single-click on my PC. Uh, this is where all your jobs, messages, and offers will arrive. Check it every day for new jobs and keep on top of your business. Okay, so we've got to check the emails all the time. Select the one from here. Paint it red. Oh no, I'm an urban aesthetic innovator and artist. I'm currently working on an ambitious project. Required level one, labor's $120. I'm guessing that's how much we're being paid for it. We've got to paint the case red. They take a day to arrive, so it won't show up until the end of the day. That's fine. So accepted, there are five different things. Have a look at this job. Remove viruses. When you're ready to begin, go to the PC. 
Let's see how to do a job and make some money. This needs a virus scans to take it to the workbench for diagnosis. So we'll need to use a USB stick loaded with virus removal software. Luckily we have one. So it's not plugged in. We need to remove the viruses and make sure that the PC can boot to the operating system. So install the drive into a slot on the PC. So if we turn that around. Okay, so they're using USB 3.0. And you can tell by the blue uh, ports. Tools, USB drive. Oh, we're gonna use a we're gonna use a front one, are we? Right, there we go. So we need to plug it in. Let me just move around. The camera work's gonna be awful by me. So let's just pop this in. Let's make sure everything gets plugged in. So we've got the basics like ready to go. We can boot this thing. So switch on the PC. So power. Select the monitor. We don't need to go into the BIOS or anything like that. So add or remove virus scanner, left click to install it. If only installations were that quick. So start scanning. There's a lot of viruses. 957. Yeah, we'll clean them. So we are officially removing viruses off a computer. And I've seen our balance is minus $15 at the top right there. So it's monitored and protected. We've just added that. So exit. So if we press P to... Wait, can we... How do we turn it off? It says exit. Exit the workbench to proceed. But we've got to remove all the cables, haven't we? Wait, do I not have to... I mean, I like that. It's like It makes things easier. But I thought we would actually have to... Um... I thought we would have to manually remove the cables and turn it off and everything, but we didn't have to power it down. Uh, so that's going to be automatically sent back to the owner. Now we just need to collect our pay, go to the email, and let's have a look. So we collect it. And there we go. Our very first bit of money in our PC building career. $120 for that. We've now got 105 so we've been paid on to the next job. The others are now available to check out your emails to see what the customers want and complete their jobs to earn some cash. So this one is they want the like it's missing a pipe for the water cooled graphics card. Could you please water cool it and set up the loop for me? I've never actually done that stuff in real life. Okay, we need to remove the graphics card and add a cooling block. But I, do I have these things? I'm guessing it's like a tutorial, and I've already got this stuff. And I like how it lights up the areas for what you need to remove. Because some parts of this game I will not have a clue what to do. But, I mean, we can learn as we play. There we go. So move to the workbench next to you to add a water cooling block to the graphics card. So I exit out of there. I come to this one. It's a water cooling bench. So we select this. Now we've got it on the workbench. We need to add a block to it. We need to remove the screws and the heat sink. Oh no. Oh, I, I don't like it because we have a water cooled system. Any spillage and your parts are just going to be battered. So left click to remove the heat sink. Now we need to replace the thermal pads. Left click to zoom in on the graphics card. Oh, on the old thermal pads to remove them. I'm a little bit nervous about water cooling the PC. Now we need to apply some new thermal pads. Okay. Left click. Next, we need to remove and replace the thermal paste. It's an important part. It increases the efficiency of heat transfer. I know about the uh, thermal paste. Never ever do more than like a pea-sized drop. I've seen people absolutely smother... Um, cpus and it's just it's pointless a waste of time and it can actually be damaging uh yeah always refresh thermal paste when working on a pc so we're going to use the cotton buds and that stuff to remove the old thermal paste old left click to remove it there we go so we get to rub out the old stuff make sure it's all off there we don't want any mistakes with this there's our thermal paste 
It says, yeah, look, try putting a pea-sized dot in the center. So there, that will do. Not enough. That's a pea-sized dot. This is too much. I, I put a little bit less than that. Maybe I should, in the future, when I build a PC, I should put a little bit more. Okay, last thing to add is a GPU block. Then it's ready. Left click on it to see the available blocks. Okay, so if we left click on this. And then we screw all of these in. I don't like doing this, but I'm hoping that, that uh, this list over here it stays there after like the tutorial. Because otherwise I'm going to forget how to do half of this. So let's click to store it in the inventory. There we go. So we successfully water cooled it. Take it back to the PC on the other workbench to install it. So it's ready to go back into the PC and become part of the loop to begin. Left click continue. So install. Was it water cooled GPUs? Oh no, wait, PC parts. Yeah, there we go. So let's get this back in there. Connect it all back to its power and then pipe in. Oh no, we need to create a single loop to allow the water to flow around and cool all the water cooled uh, components. So let's start here. Hold left click to select this water pipe connector. Select this one. Select this and go to here. Oh, I don't like this. Have we done it? Um, is that a loop? So it goes from the fans to the CPU, the processor. Then it goes into the water cooling system, through to the graphics card, and then flows back through to the fans. Okay, I, I don't like it. You'll need to you need to decide which coolant to fill it with. Left click to select the color. Oh, we actually get to. I like it. I'm going with purple. We're going with. Purple clear UV. Let's try it. Fill the pump. Do we get to actually... Oh, there's no way. Imagine all of that spilled out. I made a mistake with it and everything just it was ruined. So it says, well done. The GPU has been installed. It's now part of the loop. Uh, replace the PCI lock on the side panel. So what was it? Install... Is it PC parts, removed components? It was the PCI lock. I, b I believe this is all we had to do. But we are fine, so power it on. Look at that. There we go, so it can boot. So what we do is we turn the computer off. Do we, take, we don't take the cables out, do we? That was cool. I mean, it's scary, but it was good. There we go, that's water cooled, and I believe we now go to the email and collect. Yeah, we do. 270. We're going to have millions in no time. Uh, overclock, I have not done overclocking either. Uh, I said I've done the basic stuff of like building a PC, never overclocked or anything like that. And I know this can be stupidly dangerous, which means making the CPU run faster than its stock frequency. Connect the cable, select the monitor to get started. Okay, so we're starting with. Uh, plugging cables in there we go so we're gonna power it up i'll oh, select the monitor uh yeah we have to go to the bios you need to hit f2 or delete if you don't press one of the keys in time then the pc will boot to the operating system you need to restart and do it again so p to turn it on and then f2 hold the f2 or the delete key this is where you can see the PC's hardware settings and tweak them to add more power. So they've got an i3-8350K. Uh, this menu allows you to overclock it by increasing the base clock and ratio, the voltage settings used to stabilize it. You need to be careful not to use too much or you could damage the CPU. The CPU speed shows how fast the CPU runs and is a function of the base clock times the ratio. So here it's 100 megahertz times 40 to give it 4000. You can tweak either values or change the overall frequency, but normally you use the ratio for big changes and the base clock for smaller ones. Increase it to 44. Increase it to 1.35. 
As a CPU runs faster, it requires more voltage to remain stable, but don't go too high or it may damage it. That looks good for a stable overclock. Click on the settings tab and we can apply the new values. So apply and restart. Note that if it can't boot because the settings are too high, then the machine will blue screen and reset itself to default. <laughs> I can't stand blue screens. There we go. Double click to open the OCCT. Normally, you'll have to install it yourself using the USB. So we can stress test using this. It can also show if a CPU is getting thermally throttled from running too hot. It will not run efficiently if it gets too hot under load. So continue. Start the test. Wait for it to complete. So we've got, what, 25 seconds. There we go. Congrats. The CPU remained within its operating parameters in the test. This means it has a stable overclock and can be returned to the customer. So the value of the temperature for the CPU is around 50 odds. The max is 67. It's not being throttled. And the graphics card, we didn't touch that or anything. So we are fine. So take it back to the delivery area and uh, collect the payment. It's complicated overclocking. You can damage your hardware if care is not taken. We recommend you experiment with it in the game to see how far you can push the limits. Remember to test their stability. And you can download using the USB drive found in the tools section. Okay, so turn that off. Close that down. And we're going to shut down the computer. Exit. Exit again. And we're going to pick that up and take it to the drop-off point. So we've done water cooling, we've done overclocking. I put orange LEDs on my computer to match my goldfish, but I've recently expanded my aquarium to include a variety of other fish. And now my PC no longer matches. Can you do... Do you know, I've got an RGB computer case, like the fans and stuff are RGB. I've got a control, like a little remote. And I can click buttons to change the color. So what, what am I supposed to do? Let's go grab this one. $220 for this. We've got to set all the RGB lighting to rainbow effect and set it to walk mode. Don't tell me that's the... <laughs> this is so sad. Left click to select all the components. Uh, left click to open the effects drop down. Set it to rainbow. Oh my... God. Oh, uh. And then they want it on walk. Make sure to take it back and collect your rewards when you're ready. No, that is hideous. Ugh. Why? And for any of you interested, you're probably not, but just in case, mine's set to like a deep pink slash purple because my kids love it and purple is my favorite color. So let's return this one. And let me know in the comments if, you, if you're if you into PC gaming and stuff. If you've got one with RGB, which color have you got set? And if you say rainbow, just forget it. I don't even want to know. Uh, but let's collect $220, $220 to do that. Just one last thing to do. Let's give your business a new name. Go back into the hallway and left click on the business name panel. This is where I laugh and say it's sad that people want Rainbow and I'm going to come up with a company name that's cringy. Do you know what? Instead of PC World, I don't want copyright and stuff. <laughs> I went with PC City. Why not? Let's just apply it. Looks like you're now the proud manager of PC City. If you change your mind, you can rename it. Okay, so if you have any funny and not cringy names for our little career, business, whatever, let me know in the comments as well. And... Yeah, I'll potentially change the name of it to one of them. We'll see. There we go. I want the inbox nice and clean. And I believe there are bills and stuff you have to pay for this. So I'm going to power the PC down. I don't want it constantly running. So here you can end your day and advance to tomorrow. You don't need to buy any new parts yet, but in the future you may need to check that you've ordered everything you need before going home. You can look at this calendar at any time to keep track of all your jobs, deliveries, deadlines and bills. We have a busy day ahead. You accepted a job yesterday. The PC's arrived. It needs to be painted red. So take it to your workbench and let's get spraying. The nozzle size will make it easier to spray. We'll go max. They want the glut. Ugh. Oh, that is horrible. Why are you painted? Why do you want the glass painted? I mean, I like that you can paint the PCs. Like, 
yeah, like do customization to them. But whoever ordered red and to cover the glass and the um, the grate on top, and I'll take a vat of the. Oh. oh, I hope you're proud of yourself. It's disgusting. Look at it. I don't want to see anything like that ever again. A tablet that will assist you in managing your business. You can read emails, shop, run apps, uh, all while on the move. Okay. Open it. So T to launch the tablet. It's packed with apps, has a snazzy camera, and can be used on the move to manage your time more effectively. If you're not sure where to start, check out the pre-installed decorator app. Do we get to decorate the... Big Bob has agreed to redecorate it for free. You can change the floor scene. And oh, get me in. Okay, I've got my setup. I went with contemporary walls, contemporary desks, vintage flooring. I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. That looks nice. I, I like it. I like it a lot. And then we've got out here to decorate eventually, which will be where we're selling our PCs that we build. Much appreciation. It was exactly what I asked for, unfortunately. It was also so perfectly matched to the red I had used to paint the walls that I tripped over it and landed on my nose. <laughs> my next project will be about the interface between technology and paint. I'm really... <laughs> okay, whatever. Get out of here. Uh, replace the SSD. We can definitely do that. Do not customize glass. Paint the case green. We can do that. So, them computers are on their way. I need to order in an SSD. They didn't specify which one they want. Oh, okay. So we've only got one available at the moment. That's probably why. There's five different hard drives and an SSD. 120 gigs. So this ain't going to hold much. Okay, that's been replaced. So now we need to... We should be able to install a fresh installation of Windows. Oh, okay. We didn't actually have to do anything. And it does boot to desktop. So if we power that down. Apply on glass, no. So make sure that's unchecked. And they want the entire thing done. I don't like how it doesn't get this section here. I really don't like that. Okay, but that is done. All sides, top. You're not allowed to paint the back of them. So it's basically sides, top and front. But that is done. So exit. And then we pick it up, we put it here, and then we go collect our payments. And the next day, we have the parts in. We've got the CPU, so we'll grab this. There we go, so we've got the thermal paste on there. Now we go install, removed the Arctic Freezer 7X. And then we need to sort the cable for it, plug that back in. So that is working. And then we never took a PCI cover off it. So if we close that, we go cables. So now that all the cables are in place, we power it on. And does it boot to the operating system, to the desktop? The answer is, it does, perfect. So we can turn that off, we can exit, exit again, pick it up, and we return it here. We've got to collect our payment for that. And then they wanted an upgrade on this one. What is that on the top of your computer? So this was the graphics card. So if we remove the case, the side panel for it, and now we need to do the cables. I believe it's just one cable. Okay, so everything is on. Let's power it. Oh, look at the state of that. Ugh. Right, does it boot to the operating system? And the answer is yes. So turn that back off. You can now renovate the storefront. Oh, that's going to have to wait until the next video for this game. You can build and sell your own PCs. Check your email for details. Okay, so delete that because we collected the money on that. And we'll take that. $535 profit. Thank you very much. We'll accept that. Paint the case yellow. An upgrade. Oh, what? Why is there so much? I find GPUs work very well. My computer borrowed from a government agency. 
So what do they want? Install an XPG core reactor 650 watt. So I'm guessing that that's a power supply. Yeah, we'll accept that. But that's everything done. The next thing we've got to do is pay the $500 to get the storefront up and running. But that was the very beginning of our adventure as PC builders. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.